Oh, that's great. Alright, this might be too light. Um, ready? Alright, what I'd like to do is show you guys um, how to subtract two uh, rational expressions when we have a complex number as our uh, denominator. So, one thing we do notice is that uh, these two uh, denominators, these are actually conjugates of each other. But um, remember to add fractions, no matter what your fractions are, you have to have the same denominator. And one little trick that we always like to do to always get the common denominator is you can multiply the denominators by each other and that will give you a, a common denominator. It might not be the least common denominator, but it will always work. And that's sort of something you guys did like with regular fractions. Um, when you had a different denominator. So what I can do is these are our binomials. They're not really numbers. So it's a little bit difficult to figure out what is the least common multiple. Well, one thing I know I can do is I can multiply by 1 minus i on the top and bottom, and then 1 plus i over here. Because the reason why is when I multiply these two, it's the same thing as I'm multiplying a, a 1 minus i and 1 plus i. And again, over here, I'm doing the exact same thing. So therefore, both denominators will be equal. And then for here, I can just do distributive property. And we'll see what we get. Now, since these are conjugates of each other, we know that our middle terms are going to cancel out. Whenever you have a plus or a minus, and you have the same first number and the same last number, we also look at it like a difference of two squares, and these are conjugates. So Therefore, I can just my middle terms are going to cancel out. So really, all I need to focus on is multiplying my first uh, multiplying my first two numbers. One times one is one, and a negative one times one is going to give me a negative i squared. And then two times one is two. Two times negative i is negative two i. Minus three times one. 3 times i is a 3i. All over 1 times 1. Oh, it's going to be the exact same. All right, I'm actually going to put this in parentheses. Now, one thing you need to remember is we say i equals the square root of negative 1. So when you square both sides, you get i is equal to negative 1. Let's put the space there. So now what we do is let's just substitute in a negative one in for the in for a two in for i squared. Alright, so this becomes one minus a negative one becomes two, right? Let's do my work over here. So um, I really want to show you all this work. Let me do one more round. I'll do one more round down here. Do I have more room to the left over in the board? Yeah, Okay. Just tell me if I get off the thing. So I can do 2 minus 2i <laughs> over 2 minus 3 plus 3i over 2. Am I good? All right. See these how they have the same denominator? same denominator, you can combine the fractions. Now remember, you can combine the fractions, but remember we're subtracting. Now there's a big poor point we need to make. We're subtracting this whole top, right? And it's just not a negative 3. You're subtracting a 3 and you're subtracting a 3i. And remember when we subtract or add complex numbers, you always subtract or add the real from the real and the imaginary from the imaginary. So remember it's a, you know, minus bi or plus or minus, whatever it be, I. That's your real, and this is our imaginary. So therefore, 2 minus 3 gives me a negative 1, and the negative 2 minus 3 gives me a negative 5i all over 2. And then to keep this in a standard form, I'm going to divide that 2 into both of them. So it's a negative 1 half minus 5 halves. Okay. Ta -da. 
Yes, question. Why did you separate the fraction? Why did I separate it? Yeah. Because um, I'm assuming the question said to put it in a standard form. It said to perform the operation and write the result in standard form. This is not standard form, right? Standard form is A plus BI. So you have to have a real number plus imaginary number. Make sense? Okay. And you'd only know that if 